SpaceX has been dealing with technical issues in all of their rockets since day one, and that's just part of the progress. But what really consumes their time is the bureaucracy. It's insanely hard to get one thing done in the United States without jumping through hoops, especially in the space industry. There are millions of requirements they want from you. And as a company trying to revolutionize the entire space industry, you can't always focus on the small things when you're busy figuring out new ways to launch rockets. This is exactly what SpaceX faces every time with the FAA. Their regulations have gotten so tight that no matter how hard you try to meet their requirements, they'll find something you miss to either delay your mission or hit you with a penalty. Most of the time, SpaceX gets into trouble with the FAA because of their Starship rockets. But this time it's a different story. They've been slapped with a big fine because of their Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets and we're going to talk all about that in this video. But before we dive any deeper, if you're a big fan of SpaceX and Musk like I am, I've got some exciting news. We've got a limited supply of super realistic Starship models available on eBay. These models are highly detailed and perfect for any SpaceX enthusiast. The link is in the description, so go and grab yours before they're all gone. Don't miss out on owning a piece of space history. Earlier yesterday, the FAA released a statement addressing two safety requirements that SpaceX failed to meet, resulting in fines. While Starship has been in the spotlight due to FAA-related delays, these new fines actually stem from Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy operations that occurred about a year ago. As we all know, the FAA issues launch licenses and enforces safety protocols. FAA approval is required for most rocket launches, infrastructure changes, and specific procedures. In their statement, the FAA proposed $633,000 in penalties against SpaceX for not complying with license requirements during two 2023 launches. The first incident involved a Falcon 9 launch in 2023. SpaceX had submitted a request in May 2023 to revise its communications plan, including adding a new launch control room and removing a key safety check readiness pole. However, the FAA notified SpaceX that they couldn't approve these changes before the scheduled launch, yet SpaceX proceeded with the unapproved control room and skipped the required poll. This violation resulted in a proposed fine of $350,000. The second violation occurred during the Falcon Heavy launch on July 28, 2023. SpaceX requested a modification to its license to use a new propellant tank farm just nine days before the launch. Despite not receiving approval, SpaceX used the unapproved infrastructure during the mission, leading to an additional fine of $283,009. What's interesting is that both launches, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, were successful and faced no technical issues. Everything went ahead as planned, raising questions about the FAA's decision to retroactively fine SpaceX for procedural violations that didn't result in safety concerns. Many argue that the FAA's decision to dig up these past missions, especially ones without any problems, seems unnecessary. Some even speculate that these fines are politically motivated, designed to slow down SpaceX's rapid pace of innovation. Although the fines imposed on SpaceX are minor relative to the company's massive operations, they shine a light on the ongoing tension between SpaceX and the FAA. Over the years, the two have repeatedly clashed, primarily due to regulatory delays surrounding SpaceX's ambitious projects like Starship. One of the key frustrations has been the consistent delays the FAA has caused with Starship launches. For instance, after the first Starship test flight, it took 212 days of preparation and FAA approval before the second launch in November 2022. Although the interval between the next flights shortened to 117 days and then 84 days, the fifth test flight has been filled by delays. As of now, it has been 105 days since the last Starship test and the next launch is postponed to late November, largely due to additional FAA-required reviews. These delays have been a significant source of frustration for SpaceX CEO Musk, who has openly criticized the FAA on social media. 
He has called the FAA's space division fundamentally broken, and even stated that under their current regulatory structure, humanity will never get to Mars. Musk believes that the FAA's rules, designed for smaller, expendable government launches, are ill-suited for the rapid pace of innovation SpaceX is pursuing. He also hinted at what he believes are politically motivated decisions behind some of the delays and fines, particularly when there's no immediate safety concern, as seen in the two 2023 Falcon missions that led to the recent fines. The FAA has defended its position, emphasizing that safety is its top priority. It noted that SpaceX's own modifications to their launch profiles and applications often contribute to the longer approval timelines, along with necessary environmental reviews and coordination with other agencies. As the next Starship flight approaches, many experts believe it could take even longer than the previous four launches. This is largely due to the added complexities that were not part of earlier flights. One of the major changes for this mission is that SpaceX plans to return the Super Heavy booster to land at Starbase in Texas, rather than having it splash down in the ocean. This shift in landing strategy requires new safety protocols and a more thorough FAA review, which is likely contributing to the delays. The FAA has taken additional time to assess environmental and safety impacts, including concerns over sonic booms that could affect wildlife in the surrounding areas. These factors, along with SpaceX's proposal for a new splashdown location for the upper booster stage, have triggered consultations with various agencies, further slowing the approval process. In response to these delays and the recent fines, Musk took to X to express his frustration. He accused the FAA of regulatory overreach and even hinted at legal action, tweeting more lawfare to emphasize his view that the agency's actions are politically motivated or unnecessarily stringent. SpaceX has also criticized the FAA for prioritizing frivolous concerns over real safety analysis that would allow for quicker progress. SpaceX has stated that both the Starship and Super Heavy vehicles have been ready since early August, but the FAA's updated estimate has pushed the next test flight to late November, more than two months after the original target date of mid-September. With NASA's Artemis program and other future missions relying on Starship, these delays could have broader implications for the space industry. If SpaceX and the FAA can't find a way to streamline their collaboration, it may lead to more significant delays in the future despite SpaceX's rapid technical progress. While SpaceX has been accelerating faster than the FAA can keep up with, their primary competitor, Boeing, is facing much more severe problems with its Starliner capsule. Initially designed to rival SpaceX's Crew Dragon, Starliner has faced multiple delays and technical failures. In June 2024, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams were supposed to return on Starliner from the ISS after an eight-day mission. But issues with the capsule's thrusters and helium leaks made NASA deem it too dangerous to fly them back. These technical failures have plagued Boeing since 2019. Starliner's first uncrewed test flight was such a disaster that the company had to rerun the mission in 2022, only to discover even more issues, resulting in over $1 billion in repair costs. As a result, NASA delayed the astronauts return by several months, leaving them stranded on the ISS until February 2025, when SpaceX's Crew Dragon is expected to bring them back. This long-term delay has underscored Boeing's inability to meet its contract with NASA, which initially aimed to provide a reliable transport system for astronauts alongside SpaceX. These failures not only reflect poorly on Boeing's progress, but also stand in stark contrast to SpaceX, which has successfully launched 10 crewed missions since 2020. As of now, Boeing's reputation in space transport has been severely damaged, leaving Starliner's future uncertain as Boeing scrambles to resolve these ongoing technical issues. That's all for today's update. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.